People ask me what my Mussolini obsession is all about, and I would say that it has more to do with who I believe him to be now, and it has to do with the fact that I believe him to be influencing me, and I believe the Old Testament prefigured and overshadowed him with a figure in the Old Testament. See, Mussolini means Jacob, and Jacob's second wife was Rachel, and Benito Mussolini, his name, Benito means blessed, Mussolini means Jacob, and J Mussolini's second wife was named Rachel, as well as Jacob's second wife, and they both behaved very similarly. And the name Mussolini, it means to remove from power and to replace. Benito Mussolini removed the prime minister from power and replaced him without shedding any blood. He rose to power in a first world cradle of democracy without anybody voting for him and without any qualifications, any real education or government experience, which is quite miraculous. Um, people really loved who he was. He had a great heart. He was very charismatic. He was a very strong seasoned sword dueler and street fighter. And so what I really like about Benito Mussolini was he was not only a very talented, gifted person, mentally, uh, very emotionally and psychologically strong. He was wounded in World War I. He got shot in the face point blank range. Uh, he survived five assassination attempts and then a sixth one, if you add the fact that he was poisoned by one of his mistresses. And when Gandhi visited Al Duce, Gandhi looked for a single Italian who was displeased with Al Duce, and there was, he couldn't find a single one. All of them said, he puts more money in our pockets, he makes us proud to be Italian, he makes us patriotic, and he was also a great defender of religion in a time where militant atheism was ravaging not just Europe, but bent on conquering, what, seizing whatever they could and effacing God from the hearts of man. And the doctrine of fascism is very free of all hatred, free of bigotry, and it is free of all the things you would think are attributed to fascism. It was actually a, uh, it actually was improved Italy. It worked economic miracles in Italy as well as spiritual miracles. It united the people and also it saved Spain from being conquered by militant atheist communists as well. And so he was also not just brilliant psychologically, but as well as uh, spiritually very gifted. And he was also very strong physically, uh, seasoned street fighter and sword dueler. And he was a hero of the Italian people, not just because he got wounded in World War I, but very charming, very gifted, very charismatic, and very much a gift and a type of messiah and savior for the Italian people of that time. And his dream was of a restored Roman Empire, a resurrection of the Roman Empire revived in the 20th century, of which he would be a 20th century Caesar. And he gave farmers free land, he created jobs, he made Italy great again, he helped multiple countries. He was a slave abolitionist like Abraham Lincoln. He abolished slavery in Ethiopia. Uh, and his entering World War II on the side of the Germans, that had to do with, it was a big mistake, but he did everything he could to try and prevent that war. He put troops on the border with Austria to stall the annexation of Austria, which it successfully did. He called on America and the United Kingdom to help him stop the annexation of Austria. And if America and the United Kingdom would have responded earlier, he would have entered on the side of the Allies. But he, uh, he tried to stop the invasion of Poland. He stalled the invasion of Czechoslovakia for as long as he could. And while France...